Welcome back guys. So the long awaited how to make a cutscene tutorial is finally being produced. Uh, sorry for the wait. Uh, just a little warning, this will be uh, cut into several videos. i um, having a harder time <laughs> recording these with work and whatnot, so uh, I do apologize for that. Um, so for this first video it's going to be about the setup, just setting everything up before. There's a few things that we need. So I'm just going to come over here and minimize that. I should have had this open. Um, so just go, we're going to need uh, some background music. Uh, if you go to planet, uh, purple planet over here, so purple slash planet dot com. Uh, just on the sidebar over here, I just went to the horror backgrounds and I scrolled down and I'm taking this guy over here, oppression. You can take any any song if you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, just hit the little download if you take it from the site. And uh, if you're using any of the music, of course, uh, make sure that you credit them. Um, next is once it's downloaded, I've already done so, it comes out as an MP3 file. Um, Unreal prefers WAV files, so just go down to uh, www audacityteam.org slash download and just download the, the appropriate audacity uh, for your uh, operating system. I've already done so and got this one and here it is so let's open it up. <clears throat> Once it's opened up um, just take the downloaded file that we uh, that we got or any of your mp3 files and just drag it in. Okay. And once it's dragged in, you'll have this nice little wave of sound. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna modify it. You can modify it if you want, but I'm gonna keep it at, as is. And just go export and export audio. And uh, I've already done so, <laughs> but uh, just make sure that you save it as a wave. All right. So I've already done it, so I won't be doing it. So with that done, uh, let's open up Unreal and let's make a few uh, <clears throat> a few uh, folders for organization. Uh, I've just made this folder here. You guys can you should put this in your mod folders if you're going to be modding. And just right click new folder, call this one audio, <clears throat> and right click new folder. Call this in um, haptics. All right. So with that done, open audio and import the wave file. Okay. Once that's done, uh, we're gonna need to change this to a sound cue. You can preview it here just by pressing it. You can take a look at. Oh, it came up on my other screen. Uh, you can take a look at your your wave and whatnot. But uh, like I said, we're not gonna be modifying it. Um, we're gonna keep it as is. Uh, the only one thing you have to do with it though is turn it into a uh, sound cue, which is right up here, create cue. Once that's done, now we have our sound cue. Uh, the other thing you guys are gonna need is a level. <laughs> so just open up a pre-existing level or uh, make your own. It doesn't really matter, but we just need something to work with. Uh, and I'm having issues finding mine, of course. There it is. On the other screen. Um, here we go. So just for uh, for the tutorial, I'm just gonna take any of these. I got this one here, and um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> uh, I should have duplicated it. Damn it. Um, anyways, so what we're gonna need is a level. Personally, I don't like modifying levels that I'm gonna be playing in so personally I like making another level and have that one just for my cinematics where I'm going to use that level just to uh, to put to, to produce my cinematics you don't need to do this I just prefer doing it this is just I don't like messing around with my with my main scene if you will the actual like you know master scene with all the work that you do and whatnot it can get pretty uh, Pretty much of a heartache if you mess something up and 
it messes up your master level, right? So once this is done uh, and showing up on screen, showing up on screen, <laughs> whoops, I guess I don't have a level. Anyways, um, just, uh, this was probably not the best way to do it, I do apologize, wasting time. Um, I've already got one here, but personally I would just uh, um, uh, duplicate your file, so I think you can do that, I think you can do that over here actually and where that maps and I'm just gonna take uh, this one here and I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna just put like a little something on it just so I know wow what's going on here Okay, and I'm just gonna like call it uh, something like anim. All right. All right. So once we have our second level, if you will, uh, our full level and whatnot, I'm gonna pause the video here, unfortunately. And uh, on the next one, we're actually going to go about explaining a lot about uh, how to produce our um, or how to, you know, manipulate the uh, the uh, the engine for making cinematics all right so thanks for watching guys uh, I do apologize for cutting it short I'll try and get the next video out as soon as possible uh, probably either tonight or uh, later to yeah probably tomorrow maybe anyways um so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and we'll actually go about explaining a lot better uh, what we what we can and cannot do. All right. So have a good one, guys, and uh, thanks for watching.